Hello everyone, I'm Soundarya. I work as a data analyst at Sagas IT Analytics. At Sagas IT, we provide data science, data engineering, and data visualization solutions to various clients and help them maximize their profit. Now let's move on to one of such interesting solutions. This project is about battery evaluation and life cycle prediction. The objective of the project is to build an application that can predict the life of the battery and provide the user a temperature profile based on various features of batteries. The application development involves various stages like building codes in Python for data pre-processing and transformation, creating pipelines to predict the life of the battery and temperature profile, creating charts using D3 library to display the results on a web page. Finally, to protect our source code, we used licensing and obfuscation methods on Python and JavaScript files. Coming to the overall architecture, for all the ETL process, we used various Python libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn, SciPy, JSON, etc. For model building, training and prediction, we used libraries like scikit-learn, Keras, TensorFlow, etc. And for displaying the results on web page, we used D3JS library and Angular framework. Coming to the scope of the project, the requirement was to build a robust Python script that can handle the data coming from various battery vendors. Developing deep learning and machine learning models to train on the battery data and predict the life of the battery. Finally, creating charts using JavaScript library called D3JS to display the results obtained from battery life prediction model, thermal management code, etc. Coming to the technical details, we have developed a project that gives temperature profile based on different battery types. This project is called Thermal Management Project and is built using Python. This is a thermal management project. Main.py file is an entry file for this project. To protect the source code, we used licensing and obfuscation methods in this project and the final obfuscated file looks like this. For creating web application, we used Angular framework and to display the results, we used D3JS library. All the codes related to the result charts are built using Visual Studio code and D3JS. The web page contains two tabs, one for thermal management and one for capacity field results. Under thermal management, let me show you one of the examples. This is where the results are displayed. The charts show the thermal profiling of a battery. The capacity fade results are displayed on a different web page and as you see here the results show the cell hasn't reached the end of life and current cell capacity is 92.1% which is pretty accurate. Coming to the challenges, there were various types of data like simulated data with unwanted spikes, HPPC data wherein we had to identify the exact starting of the pulses in the data and the rest period etc. And once we find the starting and the rest period, we need to discard the data from the resting period. The challenge was to create robust data cleaning scripts that can take care of any type of battery data with or without spurious peaks. Scripts to identify what type of data cleaning is required for a particular data file passed and automatically do the required cleaning without losing any useful information from the data was a big challenge. The highlight of the project is that the model built for lifecycle prediction is performing as expected and we are able to get accurate results. Thank you for watching.